Hey everyone, John here, and today we are going to hopefully finish our Space Invaders game. So the first thing you want to do is go into the ship, and we are going to go into Physics, and we are going to change this property to Normal, so that it will properly register collisions, because we are going to make it so that when the ship hits an enemy, it will die. So we're going to go into our Events, Add Event, Collisions, Actor of Type, because we want it to be when Self hits an enemy. So when self hits an enemy, first we're going to play our sound. We're going to play our sound, our explosion sound. And then we are going to kill the ship. So when we're in the ship, so kill self. So now if you test the game, you'll see that the ship dies when the enemy hits it. And we are going to do a little bit more than that. We're going to make a game over screen, but for now, just to test that this works. Alright, so I'm just going to wait for the enemy to hit me. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the dashboard and I'm going to go to scenes and I'm going to create a new scene. And then I'm going to call this the game over scene. Game over. Perfect. And solid color is fine because I'm going to make a background on it. I'm going to hit create. Then I'm going to hit this plus here, new background layer, add the stars. And then I'm going to hit this arrow here to move it down so that the layer is on top. All right, so that's our game over scene. So now we have to use it. So I'm going to do a uh, search switch. So I'm going to use this one, this big long one, right before the kill self. Switch to choose scene, game over. So switch to game over and fade out for two seconds using black and fade in for two seconds using black. Perfect. You can use different colors if you want, but black looks like the traditional fade in, fade out effect, which is sort of nice. All right, so this should work. I'm just gonna wait for it to hit me. Yep, fades in, fades out. This is our game over scene. We haven't put anything on it yet. Perfect. And for a little bit more dramatic effect and to provide some feedback to the player, I'm going to search shake. I'm going to shake the screen a little bit. So shake the screen for the two seconds while we're fading out or um, three because then it'll sort of keep going a little bit. With intensity of, I'm going to try four. You do not want to do too much, trust me. It's uh, even four is quite a bit. In fact, I might go two. I remember how the screen shake works properly. All right, so I'm just gonna test to make sure that the screen shake worked. It's gotta get hit. Perfect. And I think I'm gonna do 2.5 or 2.3 with an intensity of three, I think would probably be better. All right, so I'm going to test that and then I'm going to work on the game over scene. All right, I'm gonna get hit just to make sure it looks nice. Boom, I got hit. Perfect. All right, so now I'm gonna go to my game over scene and I am going to go into events and I'm going to add a drawing event basics when drawing and actually I forgot to rename this event I'm going to rename this hit enemy and I'm going to apply that I can close that for now and I'm going to rename this to game over text this is going to be the function where we draw our game over text so I'm going to go into drawing styles I'm going to set the current font to that font we made default and then I'm going to go to drawing and get this draw text so I'm going to draw text uh, the game over press space to restart all right that's good and for this to make it perfect I'm we're going to do a little bit of math 
So go to numbers and text and grab out a minus. We're going to put that in there first. So on the left side, we are going to get a this multiplication. Actually, no, we're going to get a division. All right, a division. So I'm going to search screen width. Perfect, screen width. So screen width divided by 2, that's going to be in the middle. But it's not going to be in the pure middle because our text is going to draw the top left corner at the middle of the screen. We don't want that. We want it to be a little bit nicer looking than that. So I'm going to go into numbers of text again and get a little bit. Let's see, I'm going to get this, another uh, division block. The slash means division. All right, and then I'm going to search for width or text width. Text width. So get width for text using current font in the first block. And I'm just going to highlight everything I have here. Control C, and then click here, Control V. So that's perfect. That's exactly what I typed there. So that just gets how many pixels wide that is. And then I'm going to divide that by two. That means it'll be in the exact center in the middle of the screen. All right, and then I'm going to get another of the numbers and text. We're going to do just a division on this one. I'm going to search screen height, height, I spelled height wrong, height, height, there we go. <laughs> so put that in there, screen height, divided by two, that'll be the center of the screen. All right, that is good. I'm going to test that. So we said press space to restart, but we're not going to be able to press space to restart, obviously, because we haven't programmed that. All right, so I'm going to test and make sure this works now. I'm just going to get hit. Boom. And it's a little bit big and a little bit off-center. Well, it's not quite on. Well, it's a little bit off-center. So what I'm going to do is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first, I'm going to go into my dashboard and go to the fonts. I'm going to make this font a little bit smaller. I think 30 is probably good. And then I'm going to do a little bit more math here. So I'm going to grab this minus screen height divided by 2 minus all right so i'm going to get this block here uh, called get height using current font that should fix that so i'm going to try that again all right those the text is a little bit smaller but that's fine Let's see i'm just going to get hit boom Perfect, that is the exact center of the screen, so that is perfect. All right, now, I'm gonna do the press space to restart part. All right, so, I'm going to go to, all right, so I'm going to add an event, input, a keyboard. So when control is going to be action one, because that is the space bar, and you can check that by going into settings, and then controls, and then action one, if it's not spacebar, then you can click on this, make sure it's highlighted blue, and click the spacebar, and then click out, hit okay, it'll be perfect. So when action one is pressed, then I'm going to switch this one, switch to level, and actually no, I'm gonna use the other one. I think a crossfade would look nice on that. Two seconds, and the scene I have to choose is the level. All right, and I'm just going to put, yeah, pressed. All right, good. And I forgot to rename that event. I'll rename it to restart game. And I'll probably have to set score to zero again. So I reset all the values, but just to make sure that it sends me back right now. All right, now I'm gonna hit space. Perfect. So now I'm gonna make sure that that, uh, I'm sure it's not resetting itself. Yeah, it's not resetting. All right, so now I'm gonna go into the game attributes and setters. I'm gonna set number to spawn. The original value for that was three. And score, the original value for that was zero. So that will reset everything. Perfect. All right, that is perfect. Um, and now 
probably the user's probably gonna want to see their score when they're when they die. So I'm gonna go into the game over text and right click and duplicate this block. Yeah, I don't need this part, and I'm just gonna put that down there. So I'm going to get a little and thing here from text basics. Score colon space. And then here, getters, I'm going to put the score in there. Uh, make sure that I go into there and get an as text. The score as text. And just right click this little block here and copy it, duplicate. Put that in there instead of the game over, press space to restart. And since I want this to be lower, I will just do screen height divided by two. That might not be enough. I might have to add to that, but we'll see. Alright, score one, score two, and I'll get hit. Boom. Perfect, score two. Now get space to restart. Now I'll let's set score a little bit early. So what I'll do instead is I'll cut the this block and then go into dashboard, scenes and level and the level. And then in the events of there, with this music, I'll also reset. I'll also reset this before the music and that way it will automatically it won't uh that way it won't uh say the score is zero on that page when you're loading in all right so i'm just gonna get a couple score and then boom Perfect, game over, press start, press space to restart, score two, hit space, and then score is zero still, but it didn't, uh, didn't reset that. And hit again, score one this time, restart it again. Perfect. All right. I think that is perfect. That is everything that I wanted to do with this game. So, um, yeah, um, if you enjoyed, leave a comment and like and subscribe and tell me what, if you think there's anything we should add to this game, and I will look into adding it and make another video. All right. Thank you, everyone, for watching, and see you next time. Bye.